Hello guys, welcome one more day to Danny Music Collector. How are you all doing today? Hope you're all fine. So, today we're gonna take a look to a collection that is not metal. Yes, as you can see, I still have the box with the cassettes there. I'm just slowly listening to them and putting them in their place. So it's gonna take a little. As you can read by the title, today we're taking a look to my Nirvana collection. It's not too big, I really don't have everything. But I still is quite complete. Do you want to take a look at it? My first memory of Nirvana is listening to an old burn cassette that my brothers had with in utero and never mentioned it. And I remember finding it in a box, plastic box they had full of cassettes. And my brother Jose said, listen to that, you're gonna like it. It's not just non-metal, it's not anything that you're used to, but you're gonna like it. And it was them that made me like grunge and that made me like punk after, you know, in time. So, yes, of course they were one of my favorite bands as a teenager and as a kid. As an adult, I still love them, but they went down quite a bit in my favorite bands list. But hey, I prefer now more Alice in Chains, uh, Hole, even Hole, you know. But it's because I've been listening to Nirvana so much in my life that I still love them, of course, but it's not the same anymore. Anyway, let's start taking a look to what I have. Little disclaimer though. Some of the CDs are fucking bust up because I have them since I was 7-8 years old. But actually, I think in this collection is just one of them. Anyway, we're gonna start with one that is bust up though. But not for me, this is Bleach. This one is not my original copy, I used to have a 90-something remaster, or 2000-ish remaster. That you said Nirvana Bleach here on the CD. And not the songs, anything. This one, I got it in El Rastro for one euro. It was on a, you know, those sleeves that are used plastic and they use safe spacer, you know, safe spaces, uh, whatever it's called. And I don't like those cases, so I put it in a normal one. And I have to say, I quite enjoy this album talking about it. I use See songs like Blue, Floyd the Barber, About to Get is a fucking classic, School, Love Buzz, Negative Creep, Mr. Monsters, Big Cheese. I just fucking love this album. And yes, it was one of the later ones I discovered from them. I was seeing if I, I was taking a look if I had the version with the mistaken Kurt's name that put, that they wrote Kurt with a D. Well, no, I don't. So, yeah. Also, funny note, they were four-piece band back then, if you don't know. They had Jason Everman at guitar, so I don't know if he was lead guitar or what, but yes. Um, yes, again, like it was in a shitty sleeve. They cut off the fucking sides of the city and they destroyed the little booklet. But anyway, that's for Bleach. Lots of people doesn't know the existence of that album, which in, which that makes me a little bit mad, not gonna lie. They think the first album is Nevermind, which, apart that is their second album, is overplayed as fuck, it's still a masterpiece, but it's overplayed as fuck. I mean, I still love In Bloom, Breed, uh, Lithium, Territorial Piercings, Poly, Drain You, Long Sacked, Stay away, something in the way. By the way, this edition is a Colombian edition. It doesn't include endless, nameless. The sides are yellow. The seed is different. And it's bust up too. But it's my first copy of the album and it was a gift from my brother Jose. So it's a thing that will stay forever of my collection though. Just love this piece. I also have the 20th anniversary of it. Just picked it up to see how the remaster, how the master changed, the remaster, the, you know, looks like that. And basically, 
I bought it for six euros just to have endless nameless in a CD. So yeah, I have two copies of Nevermind. I also have the single of Smell Like Teen Spirit that includes Even in His Youth and A New Reason. Looks like that. I paid two euros for it. The In Bloom single that includes Sliver Life and Poly Life. Looks like that. I also paid two euros for it. I also have the Lithium single, but I can't find it right now. So maybe in a more updated version of it, if I find it, I will show you. Because I have it somewhere in my room, but I don't know where. It should have been with the other singers, but it wasn't. Anyway, we continue with Incesticide. Okay, as a kid, when I discovered this album, I thought it was just a normal studio album. And I thought so up to where I was like, what, 15, 16? That I learned that it was just a compilation of rare stuff and things like that. This is like that. For me, it still counts like a studio album. I'm sorry. This is not my original edition. Just guess what happened with it. If you saw lots of my videos, you know where it went. I have to kill that fucking guy, sir. Anyway, if I love Molly's lips on here, Son of a Gun, The New Wave Polly, uh, Downer, Aneurysm, of course, Dive, Stain, is, for me, it's still a great album, to be honest. And yes, my original copy was still the same, not pressing, but the same edition as this one. It's the one that doesn't have a fucking booklet, there's just two pages. But hey, at least there is on the collection. In Utero, my favorite album from them, this is the only copy I have at the moment. It's my original one, you can tell it's super bust up even the fucking booklet. Uh, I got it at the same time that, never mind, my brother Jose bought them for me. And I seriously need a new copy of it because it's so scratched up that it's unplayable. And they're not fixable scratches I already tried. They're fucking deep scratches that get just like and you can listen. And if you ask me to say favorite songs from this album, I would say that Serve the Servants, Sendless Apprentice, Her Safe Box, Rape Me, Berry Ape, Milk It, Radio Friendly, Hunter Sifter, Two Reds. You use such a powerful, great album. Love it. The single of All Apologies, Raid Me. This one got it with the other three singles that I couldn't find the fucking one of Lithium. It gets me mad. And I will find it though. It can go out of my room. So yeah. It includes Moist Vagina as a bonus track. And looks like that. Paid two euros for it. So yeah. I wish I could find that fucking rare single of Penny Royal Cheeto. Man, I'm gonna have lots of hate for this that I'm gonna say, but worst Nirvana album ever. Most overrated Nirvana album ever. I'm sorry. I used to love it as a kid, but it just kept, just, I don't know, mystifying, mystifying, and at the point it just bores me. I even have the DVD, and I'm not even mad. That, I'm not even mad that I left it to that friend. I'm not even mad. I will buy it again if I find it though for the collection. But this was an anniversary, an anniversary gift from my wife, so I'm gonna keep it forever. But overrated is just little for what I say for 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 this album, you know. Overrated is just saying a little thing about it. So yeah, at least. We have Where Did You Sleep Last Night, the uh, plateau, but it kinda sucks. Again, as I always say, is my own opinion. Don't take it personally if you love it, good for you. If you share my opinion, good for you. If you think I'm dumb, you're completely right. But I just, I just grow so tired of that album that is like that. Anyway. Continuing with one that I really fucking love from the muddy banks of the whisker This is great You can hear lots of fails. You can hear lots of shit on here, but 
it's just Nirvana. That's what it is. Nirvana life. Not like this that is overproduced and shit. That's Nirvana life, okay? I mean... Also, here you can have a spank through that we're gonna talk about that later though. So yeah. This copy I have since I was, what, 18, 19? I bought it for like 8 euros on a FNAC and glad I did. But the way I got it the same day that I got, that I rebought Incesticide 2. And of course, the greatest hits that includes you know you're right. I don't know what to say about it, I'm sorry. Here it is, it's a greatest hit. It's great though, if you want to get into Nirvana, pick this baby up. Also, you have a um, unreleased song, so great. Um, don't have nothing bad to say about it, neither nothing great. Just that I think it has, well, it has a pretty cool booklet. But if you find it at a good price, just snatch it up like I did. I used it because I was missing from my collection, now it's not. We get to one of my favorite parts of my Nirvana collection, that is with the lights out. Okay, if you put your hand here a little bit, press it a little bit, you just love the thermic shit on here. You know, this one I got it in France in Nottenbull for like 20 euros. So, cool and say, you know, to this baby. I mean, lots of unreleased grey stuff. A cool DVD, I mean, as I always say, you find it at a good price, snatch it up, because it's fucking worth it. Been one it's been one in it since I was like 8 years old when it came out, I think it came out 2002? Must say somewhere? 2004, that's it. Since it came out I've been one in it, so... When I found it, 15, like 14 years after, at a good price, or maybe 15, I snatch it up. And you know, I used to have it. A uh, classmate used to have it and he burned it for me on cassettes. Then I just burned like 400 copies of it on CDs because I kept losing them. But now, with time, of course, I had listened to it on Spotify, but now I have, I have it. Super happy about that. When I tell you that, that I didn't find the box, that it was too expensive, a little bit after they came out with this baby, that is Sliver, the best of the box. And I just bought it right away. You can tell. It's been really loved, but at the point that the booklet is even falling apart, it has... I'm gonna show for once a booklet. It has beautiful pictures that are of course in the big booklet of the box but hey for a kid that was just turning 10 years old I remember I got it in a court English for like what 8 9 euros so yeah couldn't leave that pass by the way I want you to look at that fecal matter cover there we're gonna see that soon in the collection but not on cassette sadly get to life at reading for me one of the best gigs they ever released i mean super great doesn't don't have anything else to say it's just a good great gig in the city part we have kurt cobain's montage of heck the home recordings this is the full thing the 31 tracks that i got for six zeros in the court english it is fun to have in the collection if you're an Irvana kurt cobain fan I mean, it's cool to have, I mean, it's really cool to have, but not if you want to get into Nirvana, you have to be already a fan. Again, it is fun to have. If you didn't show the video because it was in Spanish, some days ago I uploaded a video that it was called in Spanish, me han hecho un regalazo, in English they made me a great gift. A friend just gave me all his cassette collection, that is what I was telling you at the beginning of the video, there is, there is great stuff. And between all those cassettes, I found this baby, Nirvana America. It sounds great, I mean, it sounds awesome. Sometimes it goes a little bit fast, a little bit slow, the tape, but hey. I think it's all the same gig. I think so, I'm not sure, but great stuff. 
As does my fears, Nirvana cassette that is not burnt, so that's good. <laughs> I fucking love this piece. Keep the funniest part for last. So now we're gonna take a look to my DVDs. We're gonna start with the classic Life Tonight Sold Out. My first Nirvana GBG, the first Nirvana GBG ever released, I think. It was an MTV Unplugged, like some people think. It was this one. And my brother bought it for me when it came out. I think it originally came out in 94-95 in VHS. And it's pretty interesting, like documentary-wise, you know. Has some like tracks, super cool. Has Kurt being, being fucking punched by a guy. Interesting stuff here. So yeah, it has life in Amsterdam. And I forgot a thing, but I'm gonna pick it to the room in a moment. Of course, I also have life at reading on DVD. Pretty cool stuff. I used to talk to about the CD version. The DVD version is even cooler. This is the baby I forgot in the room. Life at the Paramount, October 31st, 1991. I just love the, <laughs> the Blu-ray itself, it's super cool. Great gig. It was just recorded like a month after my wife was born, so that makes it cool. And pretty cool service, to be honest, not so repetitive as in some gigs that I saw. Love it. Also, the Blu-ray edition is super cool. I think I'm gonna rewatch it just after this just after this video. Other favorite Nirvana video, this is Life and Loud. I got it for 5 euros on FNAC in an offer and I just couldn't and resist it. As always, the shitty paper of the Nirvana's DVDs just gets out of this place. Ah, you can't even put it there, so it's just floating in the case. Just, you're gonna have, you can't even rip them open. This is a fucking joke. But anyway, I just would love to pick that vinyl edition of it that came out not too long ago. Would be great. And you stop fucking fucking with me, piece of shit. So yeah, great concert, bad case, bad DVD case, super awful DVD case. And last in the DVD collection, we have this French documentary about Kurt Cobain's death. It's a two DVD edition, I think it is, yes. But it says here, don't bust, double DVD. It's on English too, with subtitles in French, or it's just in French. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. For 4 euros, I use such and snatch it up. It's super interesting, some things they talk about. I use. I think I will have to rewatch it. So, yes. Finishing with DVDs, we're gonna take a look now to what I've been wanting to show you since the beginning of the year, but finally, I left it to the end. I'm talking about my only related Nirvana vinyl, and that is the Fecal Matter tape on vinyl. It's just interesting to have. Musically, it's not great, but super interesting to have. The vinyl is black. I got it in a record fair for like... Uh, 10 euros, 12 euros? It was not expensive at all, that's what I picked it up. Looks like that. Super interesting to the collection, you know? I know it's not been a long video, I know it's been kind of short, it's been short, but as I told you, they don't have lots of stuff and I don't have it all, so. But I have what I like, I have what I find good prices, you know, and what I bought as a kid. So, well, guys, that's been everything for today. Hope you like the video. See you soon and take care. Now I'm gonna have a beer that I'm thirsty. <laughs>